when you bend the string, you're trying to accomplish a similar thing that you do when you slide, pull off, or hammer on. For instance, you pick the string once and get an extra note with the left hand on a slide. Hammer on. Pull off. You're just picking the string once. Well, on the bend, it's a similar thing. For example, and bend down would be like a pull off. Okay? But you want to um, remember that you're bending to a note and you should hear the note. You don't want to just simply kind of wiggle a string. You want to have a purpose there, and that's to, to get from an A to a B flat. You can see when I first time I bent that string, I caught a little bit of the other string and it made kind of a funny noise. So it's a little tricky. It takes some practice. When I play fast, it seems to come a little easier. Uh, to slow it down, it's a little difficult. One of the ways you can do it is just kind of catch a nail right there on the string above it. And that will uh, mute it out too. Um, it, it takes some practice. If I was you, I would just kind of go back and forth until it kind of smoothed it out. It's probably not going to sound real good. Uh, you might want to hide the cat for a while. But at the same time, if you concentrate and remember that bending the string is bending to a note and trying to, to make a, a, a musical sound rather than sort of just a, a wiggling kind of sound effect, uh, you'll get better and better at it as you go along. Next thing I want to show you was uh, some substitutes for the same thing. If you're playing Foggy Mountain Breakdown, you would, uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do the beginning of it. Uh, let me show you now. And then what he normally does in the song is next is the choke. It produces a similar sound to this. It's a little different because you're actually bending an A note. Down here you're going hammering on to a D note right there. This is kind of bending an A. You do have the open D string right there, which is part of it. But uh, if you were to play the, this would actually probably be a more accurate uh, uh, variation of the first one down here would be. Okay. Now there I am, just hammered on from the second there to the, um, on the 2nd string, 11th fret to 12th fret. And then when I bent the string, I went to 11th fret, and then I bent, which is similar sound. And so it goes back to what I was showing you before. This string is a little bit easier to bend right there to not catch the other string. Okay, and there's another variation that would work well, and that's, um, you're playing the top two notes of a G chord, and I'm going to fret it like this so that I can um, do the hammer on that I want to do. Little finger on the 17th fret, first string, middle finger on the 15th fret on the second string, and then I'm going to hammer on. So, I could play any one of those variations, or I could play all of them in uh, one particular passage. Let me uh, demonstrate that for you. Put that in the tab for you. And a little faster. Okay. 